So there it is, my heavy duty workbench that I built for under $100. Of course for me it cost half that because I had some supplies laying around. But for your full supply list it's going to cost you $100, just a bit less. And I'll give you the details on that. My workbench is 8 foot long and 27 inches deep. I have a 4 by 8 foot sheet of pegboard to hang things on. I have a 21 inch deep recessed shelf underneath with plenty of space for storage as well as storage underneath. The shelf is recessed and I like that for a couple reasons. When I'm standing at the workbench it gives me leg room so I don't rub my shins and also if I need to squat down in front of my work I'm not going to bang my knees on the shelf. On the workstation are all the tools that I use to complete the job. Not all of them are absolutely necessary but I do recommend them. I have a power saw with cross cut blade as well as a sheathing or plywood blade. Tape measure. Power drill with driver bit. A framing or carpenter square. Speed square. I used a couple drill bits to pre-drill my screw holes as well as a red pencil. You can use a regular one. did use a pair of gloves. Hammer, torpedo level, couple clamps, and a guide bar which are optional. And I always wear safety glasses. I cut two 2x6's down to 8 foot. This gave me two 2 foot pieces of 2x6 to mount inside my 8 foot pieces giving me a frame for my tabletop 27 inches deep and 8 foot long. I then cut my plywood 27 inches wide to fit the frame leaving me a piece of plywood 8 foot long and 21 inches wide. This would be my recessed shelf only I would have to cut the recessed shelf down to fit inside. I cut 10 inches I off. I temporarily hung my tabletop frame at a height that would be comfortable for my working needs and I leveled it off at this spot. After doing that I mounted my legs inside the tabletop frame. I cut my 2 by 4s at 93 inches. That made them fit perfectly inside the legs of my bench and I added side supports. The leftover pieces from my 93 inch cut were mounted underneath the tabletop for support. These plans allow for a maximum use of your wood with little waste. I lost two 3 inch pieces of 2x4 in waste and one 10 inch piece of plywood 21 inches wide. There will be some waste on your 4x4 cuts for your legs but because I recycled I had no waste at all. Here's the supply list and cost of this workbench. I bought two 2x6's 10 foot long for $9.84, two 2x4's 10 foot long for $6.44, one 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood at $18.97, one 4x8 foot pegboard at $15.45. My total cost was $50.70 because I had the other supplies. You will also need two 4x4's 8 foot long at $23 one box of 3 inch drywall screws you can use decking screws but I use drywall screws six dollars one box of 2 inch drywall screws six dollars you're only going to use a few of those screws so it's really not that much of a cost factor but I used the coarse thread for the framing and I used fine threaded drywall screws for the sheathing that brings our total to eighty five dollars and seventy cents add in a few pegboard hooks, another four dollars, an additional two by four by ten at three dollars and twenty two cents. Now I didn't need this because I had a couple two foot long pieces that I cut down for the bracing underneath the sheathing here. That brings your total to ninety two dollars and ninety two cents. Add in approximately seven dollars, it, it will be less, approximately seven dollars tax. Your total is ninety nine dollars and ninety two cents. 
And trust me, you can spend less for this project. So there you have it. Heavy duty workbench. Less than $100. I'd say it's a pretty nice one for that. Do-it-yourself projects are a great way to save money. And because I also recycle wood, I didn't have to purchase the table legs or some of the supports for this project. I apply the savings to more tools or other projects that I have at hand. I went out and bought myself a flooring saw. This is going to enable me to do rip cuts, cross cuts, as well as miter cuts for my flooring and my trim work for the jobs that I have at hand. And for old scrap wood that I can't use for projects, I'll just throw it in the wood burner and heat the house with. Well, I hope this helps someone out. For now, this is the ghost. I send you my peace.